hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word give it light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. The power of resurrection, it must work in my life. That power that raised Christ from the dead. Someone is praying. That I may know you and that I may walk in the power of your resurrection. The power of resurrection, bringing life and vitality to my body. The power of resurrection, keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Up from the grave he arose. With the mighty triumph o'er his foes, he arose a victor from the dark dormant, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose, he arose. Everything dead in my destiny because he arose. I command you by the power of resurrection. Arise now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My health that is dead or dying, arise now. Is someone praying? Because he arose from the grave. Everything locked up in the grave. Finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus come forth new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare Please pray, please pray, please pray. Make meaning of your Easter. Because he arose, I decree and declare. I arise spiritually, I arise financially, I arise destiny wise, I arise. And every power of the grave, every power of the grave every grave cloth over my life every grave cloth over my ministry are you praying every grave cloth over my family my children pray i command you give way right now i lose those grave clothes if he arose then i arise if he arose then i arise pray over every challenge in your life financial challenges health challenges because he arose i arise refuse to remain in the grave he is risen the doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose you also arise Same power that conquered the earth lives in me. No, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. 
prophesy over your destiny. to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection now that you are still alive there are still other things that are dead and you can be alive and something around your life is now dead I want to speak believe it that in the name of Jesus dead finances let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now Dead relationships come back to life now. Dead opportunities come back to life now. Dead health conditions. Hear me. Anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body. I command that dead organ to come back to life now. For some reason they have died it comes back to life now giftings abilities that have died that God gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance I decree and declare they come back to life now I hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised Christ from the dead I lose you now go free 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 in the name of Jesus hear me any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved we release angels to those houses we release angels to those houses supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of Jesus Christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful I see you dying I want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over I repeat nothing takes you until your assignment is over two more prayers everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear you can't live your life freely because you are afraid what if I go out and I die? What if I come and I die? What if I take a plane and it crashes? What if I go by road and something happens? I command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now. In the name of Jesus. The works of your hands, whatever has died, Hear the word of the Lord. I bring to you the resurrection power. Hear me. If the grave could not stop Jesus from coming back to life, I transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm. By the resurrection power, let it appear in your physical realm here. Hear me. If Jesus could leave 
one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am a child of god born of the word and born of the spirit i believe that jesus walked upon the earth i believe he died i believe he was buried i believe he went to the place of the dead i believe he defeated satan sin hell and the grave i believe he resurrected by the glory of the father i believe that he ascended to heaven i believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me i believe that i am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety i am victorious today and victorious always give jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah the bible says the righteousness of faith speak it on these words i want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness i am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened in the name of jesus christ hallelujah from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you from my heart to the heavens jesus be the center it's all about you yes it's all about you jesus be the center of your church jesus be the center of your church From beginning to the end, it will always be, always be you, Jesus. Listen, return back home with this consciousness. Gather your children together and tell them, look, I gave you money, I gave you education, but I need to present Jesus. He died. why we trust him for greater levels of his grace so the sick can be healed so that the, every miracle every manifestation of the miraculous is not just promoting the man of god it's not just promoting the ministry there is a message behind it jesus is lord and through so whilst we begin to pray and god starts changing people's lives some of you overnight it will do you like a dream that a captivity of years will suddenly fade away. This time, listen, don't just celebrate the miracle. Read the letter that that miracle brought. I am Lord. Exalted. Reminds me of my encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. It remains ever fresh. It's an encounter that never fades. That that I saw you can look at it for the rest of your life and not be tired. It's not like men that I look at your shoe, I look at this and tired. No. I'm about to make an altar call and then we pray. This resurrection day, you should not walk back with the chains that came with you because it is true that he is risen. The resurrection.
resurrection is what gave us justification. Now that we are justified, we have access to all the dimensions of grace. The Bible says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time. of people following from around the world. We must get to the point where we make Jesus the desire of nations. Not just ministry. Jesus. We must make Jesus become the, the focal point in this city. Wherever you are. Whilst you are seated inside and outside, the Spirit of the Living God is talking to you. And He's saying you need Jesus. Not just as a religious experience. No. Probably there are some of you, you once gave your life to Jesus, but right now looking at your life, you know that you need to come to Him again. Aside from those here at the balcony, every other overflow, I would request when I make the call that you just walk to your projector screen and then those outside to those online you can follow very carefully. I'm going to count one to five and I want you to be your sincere sin. If you're saying, Apostle, I need Jesus as a matter of life. I'm not pretending it. You will win that war no matter where you are. No man condemns you. This is hope. Come. One. Two, keep coming, celebrate them as they come. You laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me, suffered at the hands of those you have created. You took off my guilt and shame. When you died and rose again, now today you reign in heaven and now exalted. I really want to worship you, my God. You have won my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I is still calling people don't sit back and say we came there are so many people that i'm ashamed no leave your seat and come celebrate them as they come outside all the overflows now those following online from the u.s to europe to asia all over the world he calls you today this is the greatest gift we can give his majesty to celebrate this day Someday when we stand before him, we will see everyone who is out here. And we will rejoice. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing. Don't let the devil condemn you. This is home. You are not coming to a funeral. This is where you exchange your weakness for his strength. This is where you exchange your limitations. This is where you exchange every cost for his strength. Hallelujah. You know, I'm looking at an adorable baby here that came with her mother, and I almost feel like just grabbing that lady to lift her up. 
message from the Lord. Hallelujah. A message unto you I bring. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and leave. Sing it with me. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. We've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only that you leave. Bible declares, for God so loved the world that he gave them his one and only begotten. Today he is the firstborn of we the begotten. To the end that whosoever believes in him, the Bible says he should not perish, but have everlasting life. I thank you for the courage to come. It takes a lot of courage. Please lift your right hand with me as high as you can to the heavens. Jesus is standing here. I want you to make this declaration. Let it be from the depth of your heart and let it be the truth. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. You are before Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your death. Thank you for your resurrection. Tonight, I have heard your word. And I declare that I love you. With all my heart, I declare, according to the authority of Scripture, that Jesus, from today and forever, is my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I declare that from today, I walk in victory. Satan, take your hands away from my life he's hearing you say it again satan take your hands from my life i declare that i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen and amen praise the name of the lord father as a trophy of honor, we present to you these souls. It is a joy to see them come to become part of this global family. And Lord, we thank you. Because no man comes to you except you draw them. The eloquence of a preacher cannot draw people. It is the goodness of God that leads men to repentance. Therefore, Lord, I pray that you keep them. I commend them to the ministry of the Spirit and the ministry of the Word. I declare that you walk in the newness of life of today. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, this is what I want you to do. There's someone waving the placard. There's a counselor there. Please, I would request all of you in concert, just follow the counselor, the placard. They'll just have your details very quickly and you'll return to your seat. Can we honor them as they go? Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Celebrate them. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. A profession of faith, same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued me, earth lives in me, lives in me. Speak forth your profession of faith, same power. Let every infirmity hear you. Let every situation hear you. 
break every pain, every handwriting, every cross, every yoke, every manipulation of darkness. I come against you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. This is the time to pray. Declare ye that thou might test the justified. Pray for your children. They come under the city of Christ. Pray for your job, your business, your ministry. Pray for your family.
was a result of this supernatural miracle. Miracles are happening here. Miracles are happening here. Is your name Gideon? Your father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare the grace that establishes the victory of Christ over your lives and your families. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we are talking of the power that raised Christ here from the dead. Help them, please. Please, ushers, please let's be sensitive. We are talking of the power that raised Christ from the dead. That you will never be the same. The visitation comes to your family, comes to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to pray, please. I want you to bring them out. The Lord is showing me 25 people. I'm seeing the number 25. These people have gone through circles. I'm seeing repeatable patterns over their lives and their family. What is happening to someone is what is happening to another person, unconnected. Right now, I'm seeing fire just resting on people. Father, inside and outside, I declare that everyone here at this resurrection day, bring them out, who is under the yoke of patterns, patterns of witchcraft, patterns of devilish activities. Kapas, Kedekata, Embrete, Zetos, Papa. At the count of three, in the name of Jesus, may that fire rest for you. Bring them out. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Please help them whether you are usher or not. The benefits of Easter, setting the captives free. I stretch my hands again across the balcony. The overflows. Anyone here, you came for koinonia, and there is a pattern of witchcraft that will not let you go, will not let your family go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, you come on that judgment, the judgment of the Christ. Bring them out. Everyone, lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray. Victory is being established in our life. Enough is enough. There must be an opening of the gates. Kata la kata 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 kata. If it is true that he made a public show of principality, if it is true that every cost and every ash kata 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 brought from over there, it must come to an end over your life. Now look up please, I'm still praying, there are people here, good things come to you, but just when you are about to handle it, failure, even at the edge of success, I'm seeing fire fall, my God, anyone under the sound of my voice, the spirit that is back of it, here in the name of the resurrected Christ, we declare they cast fire now, bring them out. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah. yeah. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. The Lord is breaking patterns of death. There are families every year you must bury someone. In the name of Jesus, I declare, if there is any family that death is eyeing now, I declare as a decree, death passes over your family now. We are praying. The Lord is healing someone right now. 
will soon wrap up, but I'm seeing someone, you have an issue with your back. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know if it's whatever issue it is, check it right now, the power of God is touching you. Check it right now, the power of God is touching you. Someone, I don't know if you are wearing a, a neck collar. Is it a neck collar or a bracelet or whatever it is? You have a problem with your neck, check it right now. A miracle is happening to you. I'm about to pray for the stick. I believe in miracles. I believe in the victory of Jesus. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Anyone sitting on what is yours. I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. Hear me. I speak as one sent by God. Anyone sitting on what is yours right now. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn for families. I overturn for businesses. I overturn for politicians. I overturn. I'm hearing a name Faith. Who is Faith? Faith. You're wearing a black scarf. Faith. Who is that? Please, let's ushers, let's help so that we don't make this place rowdy. Please. Please. Can we have some ushers here so that we don't make this place rowdy? Please don't just come out carelessly. that is not of the Christ. I stand by the spirit of grace and I declare and declare unto you, this night it comes to an end now. Decree and declare, anyone here who has come to the end of a season, I call upon my God, the God of my covenant, I push you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help us under the anointing. I push you to a new season, new financial seasons, new spiritual seasons. There are some of you in ministry, there are certain graces you did not carry before, but God is about to be announcing you in new ways. Greater mantles, greater new anointings by the by the spirit of god i stand by this road and i shift you step into new seasons step into new dimensions step into new seasons climb that ladder in destiny in the name of jesus christ Step into new seasons in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, this is the season you will encounter the mantle of your destiny. Until now, you are Elisha, but you have been a farmer. Whereas in destiny, you are a prophet. I relocate you by the mantle of your destiny. 
anywhere you are operating now that is not consistent inside outside i stretch my hands i call upon the god of my covenant step into those mantles find the mantle for your destiny find the mantle for your destiny Please make sure you are praying. Don't waste your time. You came here for an encounter. I know what I'm saying. I know what I sense from my spirit. I tell you, there are people here. Where you are is not the mantle of your destiny has been searching for you. You are a prophet. What are you doing in the farm? You are a kingdom financier. What are you doing around? I stand again by the God of my covenant and I declare be relocated to the place of destiny. And anyone deceiving you and wasting your time and wasting your destiny, I clear them out of your life. Esther was ordained to be queen but she was in Shushan. Ruth was ordained to be part of the lineage of Jesus, but she was somewhere experiencing a curse. Peter was a fisherman, whereas his destiny was an apostle. Pray in one minute. Align me, O God, to the place of my relevance, the place of my destiny. I'm tired of escorting others. I'm tired of wondering what to do with my life. Your assignment is as important. Listen to me. Your assignment, if you do not locate the place of destiny, you will keep escorting others. You will get angry. You will get offended. Your breakthrough, your, your celebration, your relevance is in that place of your assignment. Pray. Father, tonight, it says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. It has been written of you. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel, when you come again. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. O oh, Esther, your season has come. O oh, Ruth, your season has come. O oh, Peter, your season has come. Oh John, your season has come. Elijah, your season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, oh, oh. 
for prophetic psalmistry there are many of you you have been called into is a dimension of the prophetic psalmistry songs you did not write coming from heaven i stretch my hands lord where are they inside and outside songs that become ladders for the end time ladders into the throne room ladders for encounters i declare may that grace may that mantle rest upon you in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, psalmistry by the Spirit, the Davidic order of worship. Take that grace now, in the name of Jesus Christ. wasting your time you came to church just pray in the spirit for one minute undivided spiritual attention this is for kingdom come this is for my destiny this is for all connected to this grace Kela baka reka toska to prande kete leke ta. Shkebe reka te baka ta prosko to koto baka te leke ta. Shime kete lekas koto prando koto badiata. Number two, I want to pray. There are spirits that stand at the gates of new seasons and don't allow people cross. I tell you this, there are spirits that stand at the corridors of your next season financial seasons spiritual seasons kairos moments it takes the power of the holy spirit to uproot these devils out of your way it says say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves i decree and declare every covenant and any ordinance of darkness stopping men from stepping into their seasons i come by fire and in the name of jesus christ i declare those altars are destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now, destroyed now. help them please every spiritual pattern that wants you to repeat what you happened to your father repeat what happened to your mother tying you to the experiences of your territory i come by the road of the higher priesthood i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be liberated now Like the horn of a unicorn, and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn 
of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed with fresh oil mighty power of God. New seasons. New seasons. New seasons. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Remember not the former things neither consider the things of old remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old for behold i do a new thing behold i do a new thing this is a prophetic word for someone this is a prophetic word for a family you came to church to hear this word the lord is saying remember not the former things stop giving explanations forget the former things that that which is coming will be a worthy compensation. That which is coming will be a worthy compensation. Stop regretting yesterday. There are greater plans in your tomorrow. Plans that outweigh that which you have seen. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the Bible says, are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Just allow yourself in a minute or two to just soak in this glory sometimes we are too distracted and when god shows up like this we waste those opportunities do not make the mistake of jacob in the glory i will stand i will stand and lift my hands it's in your glory I'll receive every miracle you have for me. It's in your glory we will stand. We will stand and lift our hands ah. in the glory. We'll receive every miracle you have for us. Lord, we believe you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this hour of visitation. You have come, like you always do, to change us, to lift us, to impart upon us unusual graces. Mm. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. Martha, Martha, you are worried and obsessed about many things. You are even offended, but one thing is needful. That Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet. We trust you, we love you, we honor you, we believe in you. This is why we are here.
every miracle you have for us. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh Lord had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh Lord The glory and the lifter of my head. Father, forever we declare that you remain mighty in our midst. This house will remain a conducive atmosphere for your presence, for your power. We decree and declare that we will continue to love you, continue to serve you, to stand in partnership with your spirit as you build, as you make, as you restore, as you transform, as you empower. Indeed, we are changed. We are changed. <laughs> we are changed. We are changed. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, your mighty battle. We call you this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Tonight, move upon us. Move upon us. Oh, we say amen, amen, amen. Let it be so. Let it be done in this earth as it was and as it is in the heavens. Amen to my lifting. Amen to my restoration. Amen to my rising. Amen to the multiplication of grace. As a family, we declare amen. Amen. We are believers of your word. Let it be, O God. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance. You see, beloved people of God, one of the things that you are learning every time you come, you are learning the ways of the spirit we are a people who love god we are a people who are excellent and organized but you must realize that the secret to what you have seen and you experience every time is our flexibility when the holy spirit comes he does not come here as a tenant he comes here as the lord of sabaoth the lord of hosts We are only active participants. We follow as he leads. For if he does not lead, we have nothing to do. Moses said, do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us. You can fake power, but you cannot fake presence. No. A native doctor can give you power, but he cannot give you presence. That presence factor 
is the distinguishing factor. Moses said, how shall they know that we're people separate? And he said, I will go with you. My presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. I will bring you into your Sabbath. I will give you rest. Glorify your son tonight, O God. Glorify the saints that will bring you glory through our lives. In Jesus' name. Please. With a mark of favor, I am praying unto God that that mark will rest upon you tonight. That everywhere you go, literally everywhere you go, may there be one man raised by God to help you. One man raised by God to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for any family here that is going through any kind of crisis whatsoever. I speak to you, shalom, peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. Everything dead or dying in your life, hear the word of the Lord, let it come back to life now. In the name of Jesus, whoever must remember you in Abuja, in Lagos, across the north the east the south and outside of this country between now and the end of this week i call upon the, the week that begins now in the name of jesus let remembrance come to your doorstep let remembrance come to your doorstep in the name of jesus christ hallelujah and i decree and declare any testimony you heard today that you desire may it be reproduced in your life for some of you, maybe it's concerning visas and embassy issues. For some of you, perhaps concerning whatever, every testimony you heard today that you sincerely desire with all your heart, let it be reproduced in your life. And anybody who means you evil, their eyes will not see you. I say it again, anybody who means you evil, their eye will not see you. In the name of Jesus. You are delivered from the arrows that fly by day and every plague of darkness. Experience abundance. I pray for your prayer life. The grace to pray like never before. May that grace be released upon you. The grace to study the word with passion and zeal. May that grace rest upon you. Anybody in your life who is a wrong person, who is misleading you, destroying your life, this is the week they finally separate from your destiny. Anybody in your life deceiving you and putting you in a path that leads to destruction, I say it again, may this be the week my God separates them from you. As you depart from this place tonight, Everything that is not of God remains here. It will not go with you. And everything that God has scheduled for you, may it get to your home before you. Waiting for you to testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith. The Bible says to receive with thanksgiving. Are you waving? Thank you, Jesus. Every door that has refused to open for you, maybe it did not open for those who went ahead of you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, and in the name of he that holds the key of David, that opens a door that no man shuts and shuts a door that no man opens, may that door of destiny be opened now. Be opened now. Everywhere you have been mandated to represent the purposes of God, whether in ministry, whether in business, in politics, in the name of Jesus, the grace that enthrones you there, receive that grace now. And thou shalt take some of thy honor and put upon him in the name of Jesus. The grace and the mantle that causes nations to listen. That hear ye him anointing. I release it upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for influence. The grace for visibility. 
in the name of Jesus, may that grace mantle you right now. And hear me, from today, anyone that fights you goes down instantly. Anyone that fights you goes down instantly. Everyone who has been mandated to partner with you and hold your hands, providing help and resources as far as kingdom advancement is concerned, I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and west, I call them to your business. I call them to your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Anyone here who is a victim of the negative prophecy of anyone, the wind, the forces that must align themselves to ensure you do not fail. In the name of Jesus, we swing them to operation now. The spirit of untimely death that kills men at the prime of their relevance, I decree and declare, I shut the door of the grave over you. I shut the door of the grave over you. I shut the door of the grave over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of lack and poverty. Listen carefully, especially those of you who are called into ministry. It is the absence of resources that has pushed people into all kinds of compromises. Joining wrong groups, wrong associations with a promise of some financial benefit. I pray for you. The raven that came to feed Elijah to make sure he did not die of hunger. Even if it means God sending ravens, I forbid hunger for you while you serve. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I want to pray a very special prayer for everybody, but particularly for those called into ministry. The spirit that makes the children of ministers useless as a way of mocking God, to say you are here blessing people but your child is a drunkard, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Please hear me. In the name of Jesus, let me prophesy Psalm 112. He said, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. I prophesy that your seed must be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. May your generation be blessed. He says, Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, hear me. When Saul met with Samuel, three things happened that I want to prophesy over you. Please pay attention. And don't say you are not part of the graduating students. The anointing does not care. Once your heart is open to receive, you can receive right where you are. Number one, when Saul met Samuel, Samuel looked at him and said, Is it not because God has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? He said, As you return back, you will hear that the donkey that has been missing has been found. Let me prophesy restoration. I don't know what left you and I don't care how long. By the power and the mantle of God, I decree and declare, receive strange restoration. Restoration of time. Restoration of things. I say it again. Restoration of time. Restoration of things. Number two, he said, you will continue going and you will meet three people. All of them holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and they will give to you honor and favor. Let me speak it over your life. In the name of Jesus, according to Exodus 3.21, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. By this mantle of favor, I cause dryness and emptiness from your life. 
emptiness and say an emptiness from your life Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 B it says and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her from today everyone who looks upon you and upon your ministry and upon your business your organization I compel favor from them to you Number three, he said, you will come to the garrison of the Philistines. And when you come, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you and you will begin to prophesy. Dimensions that people did not know you walking in. In the name of Jesus, for, for some of you, from tonight, the prophetic like never before, I activate it right now. For some of you, the grace for leadership, that mantle that was upon Joseph, may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Let me pray finally for you. The finisher's anointing. He said, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I taught you last week that destiny is a fight. Destiny is a race. And destiny is a treasure that you must keep. You must know how to fight. You must know how to finish. You must know how to keep. This tripartite grace that helps you to fight, helps you to finish, and helps you to keep. Receive it right now. 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 The Lord is still telling me to prophesy longevity. Listen, the days that are coming, it is the grace that is on you that will keep you. Believe me, the spirit of death is just roaming around nations and families and just bringing pain for people. But I pray for you again, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, I place a mark upon you. May death be far from you, far from your family, far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her there shall be a performance. There is a grace for performance. The grace that translates what you know into results. It's not enough to know. We must see the results. Therefore, the grace for performance, translating superior revelation into undeniable results. May that grace rest upon you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Hear me, for some of you, by reason of this impartation, between now and the next three months, what you have seen God do in Koinonia here, may he reproduce it in your life. May he reproduce it. May he reproduce it in your business. Reproduce it in your organization. In the name of Jesus Christ. One last prayer. The grace that connects you to kings. The grace that connects you to nobles. The grace that connects men to gatekeepers. In the name that is above all names. That was the grace that was upon Nehemiah. Because Nehemiah carried that grace. When he cried to the king, even though he was an ordinary cup bearer, in a moment he was given the resources he needed to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And he was given a letter to all the governors to connect with him. In the name of Jesus, the mantle that connects to kings, receive it now. Systems and structures will honor you. For in Jesus' name we pray. I saw the things that would look like a dream or some ambitious project happen at the instance of the hand of God with a level of Godlike ease. It has to be God. 
are we together now i'm saying that to still establish this prayer don't ask is it difficult for god to lift me honestly if you say that you don't know god this god that we're talking about in one day he fed a whole nation not a family a nation and there was a man who said even if god will open the windows of heaven this cannot be possible he repeated that miracle when he fed five thousand people with five loaves and two fish one more time i'd like you to pray lord i want to leave this current position i am grateful for where you have brought me but there is more for me in christ there is more for me in destiny i obtain grace tonight that will advance me go ahead and pray it was the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers out of egypt the place of bondage someone is praying take me to higher grounds oh god higher levels spiritually higher levels financially multiplying your influence and your good hand upon my life for the sake of your kingdom in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ isaiah chapter 49 next prayer point isaiah chapter 49 we'll begin our reading from verse 24 please pay attention isaiah 49 shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered you know who a lawful captive is a lawful captive is one who is in bondage legally are we together now yes lawful captive that means there was a legitimate ground upon which the realm of the spirit found access to your life your liberty your family there is such a thing as a lawful captive but the bible says is there a possibility in the dealings of god with men that even those who are lawful captives that means satan has an authorized basis he can stand to say no 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 i have on a legitimate ground there is grounds to oppress this family there is grounds to oppress this destiny there is grounds to oppress this ministry but the bible says even at that in the dealings of god with men is there a possibility for lawful captives to be delivered 25 it says thus saith the lord thus saith the lord it will it's important for us to know who is talking because if it is not the lord if he says thus saith an angel we're in trouble because angels are limited but thus saith this sovereign authority regardless the legal basis there is still a possibility it says even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will hold on hold on hold on he's telling you how he will do it are we together now Come, Dave, let me use you. Who, who else will come? Come, doctor. Let me use two of you. Now, watch this. Let's assume, stand here. Since we are wearing white and white, you come. Watch this. Let's assume that this man, that I'm a terrorist. Are we together now? And then, I hold this guy because for some reason, he gave me legal grounds to hold him. Are we together now? His family may not be able to help him. But then let's assume, for instance, that... No, no, let me not use terrorism. Let's assume that um, this man was a criminal. Are we together now? And say I'm the head of prisons for the correctional center and I've kept him there. And this is the president of that territory. In as much as there was a legal ground, this guy was ordered from court to be in jail for something he did. Is that true? 
the Bible says there is still a possibility. The possibility is not when they have already said there is no bail for you. Yet, at a certain time, the president, there is something called presidential pardon. Am I right on that? This is what God is saying. That although your family is where they are, because your grandfather, the devil was minding his business, your grandfather came and said, please, come and help us farm. And the devil said, for what in return? He said, help them please. He said, for the destiny of my children and my children's children. And the devil said, I will protect you from war, but make sure you serve me. Now the missionaries came and brought the gospel. And now you decided that I will not serve the devil again. He will not fold his arms and wash you. There is a basis for that oppression. But the Bible says, I will contend. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Have you known God as a warrior? Go and read your Bible. Hmm. Moses, he said, stand still. This fight is not your own. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. God can fight, believe me. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, two angels, not God, two angels from heaven with hailstone, they wiped a whole people overnight. Two angels. We don't even know their ranking in the angelic keda. Two angels. I'm saying this because he's the one who will arise. There are matters in families that are not allowing people go forward and just when the devil thinks he's getting away with it again like he has done before give us that scripture let's finish i will contend so back to my example now i'm holding this guy i'm holding doctor and keeping him in one place you will not move forward to manifest your destiny but i forgot that even me i am a citizen of a nation and then the president comes and says, whatever it is, I use my office. Remember that the position that you have that authorized you to keep this person was an appointment. And the president, both me and him, two of us are subject to the president's decision. Are we together now? So he comes to grant presidential pardon. And then he does not just make that order from his place, his villa. He comes by himself and enters the correctional center and goes to the room and picks this man. And I watch with pain as he leaves him. I desire to keep him except that the Lord strong and mighty. I'm saying this because there are people, God himself will reach down to your foundation and pull you out. Believe me when I tell you this. Reach down to your foundation. One time for all. Listen. Let me tell you a little secret. I don't, I usually at the end of the year, I take out time to just rest and make sure that you know i just have my little time to rest and prepare but a group of people came from my village and they said look you need to come there is fire on the mountain and you are blessing the whole world i said if people should leave me this is the end of the year i want to rest I said no you have to come and i i sat down when i looked at what was happening i said in as much as i love everybody in truth and without bias i love my own people too I told them, I said, you know what, I'm coming. And believe me, let me tell you what I'm going to do. 
by the Spirit of God. I'm going in partnership with the battalion of heaven. There are, there are things there are things that need to be settled. There are all these, all these wishing. See, the devil is not stupid. There are rules of engagement. Just desiring to be free does not bring freedom. There are rules of engagement. Are we together? I came here with a burden tonight because as I prayed, I asked the Lord, I said, Father, please, let people not come and, and cry and say amen and fall and stand up only to return back into frustration. But you see, listen, let me tell you this. You have to believe God tonight and be serious. Believe Him and open up your heart and be determined that I'm not going back the way I came. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, before Jesus arrived, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, there are men of God here who make up your mind, I'm not going back with my head empty, no way. I traveled so far to come and receive an unction that will change my life. Business people make up your mind that I'm not coming here to, to, to go back and live a life of struggle, living from hand to out, pillar to post, up today, down tomorrow. Even the lawful captive. And so he comes to pick him. And goes with him. And there is nothing the devil can do about it. Do you know why? Because the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. And the walls and all they that dwell therein. So you are going to pray one prayer. You are going to give a prophetic red card. If I will use that expression. To everything that is antichrist, buried whether in foundations, inheritance, I'd like you to make a declaration in the name of Jesus. I'm cutting away from ordinances and handwritings, speaking against the purposes of Christ in and through my life. Go ahead and pray. <laughs> Embrentes gote shalaka praski bada katos. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My believer is coming. My believer is standing by. My believer is coming. My believer is standing by. My believer is coming. My believer is standing by. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me beseech you whether you are an usher or not. If someone is under the anointing close to you, please help them. Let's be very, very fast so that we trust God to do much tonight. Hallelujah. I really want to take out time and minister this deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. And you will be shocked and surprised to see what happens to you. Let me start tonight with families where nobody rises. This is what I want to start with tonight. In truth, there are families where no matter how diligent you are, no matter how hardworking you are, it looks like there is a demonic embargo. You see people travel abroad and return back after 10 years in shame. They study to PhD. Some of them even become professors, yet they cannot feed their families. Why? Because there are horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah and against Jerusalem. Now I want to pray by the power that resides in the Christ. I decree and declare 
please bring them up very quickly. Everyone here under the sound of my voice, in the main auditorium, inside and outside, whose life and family is under the yoke of this wicked spirit that will not allow you rise. At the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus and an apakapos pepepakapa. At the shout of that name, that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every vote, every altar, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, every family that will not be allowed to rise, we bring judgment against those forces. In the name of Jesus, bring them out by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be judged now! Be judged now! Be judged now! Wherefore, God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Bring them out, please. I'm still praying. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, so that no one God lift up his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. I am still praying. Every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry, Covenant of ancestry. Your fathers worship idols. Your fathers worship all kinds of things. And now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant. You are still going to shout Jesus. Let there be liberty right now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. From yours. Foundations. Ordinances. Wicked orchestrations of darkness. Let them go now. Let them go now. The Bible declares. He who the Son sets free. Is free indeed. Bring them out. Most of the challenges you see that believers go through, aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding, most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons. If you speak what your tribal people believe, it will not work. If you speak what society says, it will not work. The voice of lamentation does not produce results. It is the word. Are we together? All of a sudden, you sense that a pain is coming here and the devil starts lying to you. It's midlife crisis. Something is already beginning to happen. Oh, you are a man. Maybe prostrate cancer. Oh, you are a woman. Maybe something is happening. In the name of Jesus, if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My brother, my sister, if, if you don't begin to declare, don't wait when it's too late and you don't have the energy. In the name of Jesus, this body is prepared to serve the Lord. A body has thou prepared for me. Therefore, I declare that infirmity has no place to stay in my body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural strength is working in me. You lay your hands on your mind. I am not dull. In the name of Jesus, understanding is at work in me. The spirit that gives understanding. Sometimes you can be confused as a leader, quite honestly. You don't know what to do. Do I go left or right? Instead of misleading people in 
pride. Go to God. The Bible says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Lord, there has to be a way out of this. There has to be a way out of this. I obtain grace. How will I pay the school fees of five children? Uh, as it is right now, there is nothing in the bank. There has to be a way. I tap into the wisdom of the Spirit. I forbid a frustrated Christian life. I'm not ashamed to bless you all wise. If you need a car, I release it in your life. If you need a house, I release it in your life. If you need a job, I release it to your life. In addition to your spiritual growth, I prophesy upon your life everything that will make you comfortable to serve the Lord. I stand upon this altar. I declare, may that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for those of you here who are in ministry, and you're not getting the kind of results you should get in the name of Jesus from this night barrenness in ministry comes to an end you have tried to open a door for a long time and that door has refused to open I break that door now help them please I break that door now Listen, a door is a system for access. It midwives one room and another. It midwives one dimension and another. When that system for access is closed, you can weary yourself at the door and pray in a game. Every door that has refused to allow you go forward, I stand by the God of heaven. Let that door be broken now. Believe it, I'm placing something on your life. May that door be broken now. Hear me? And for those of you who God gave opportunities and you misuse the opportunities, is there hope for a tree? I want to tell you that you are in a kingdom where God can restore. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, everything that left your life, either through carelessness or demonic attack or lack of discernment or abuse and misuse by the prophetic i call it forth to your life now i call it back to your life now every troublemaker in your life not allowing you sleep not allowing you rise who goes to your destiny helpers before you arrive there? Manipulating them to reject you. In the name of Jesus. I cut you away from them. And everybody who asks you, where is the evidence of your being a Christian this week? May my God start answering them. Not next week, this week. May my God start answering them. Oh, may the mighty God arise for you. Arise for your children. Arise for your family. for those in government leaders and politicians in this house i'm not ashamed to pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus may my god distinguish you i place an anointing upon you may god distinguish you in a way that will surprise you captains of industry may my god distinguish you businessmen may god distinguish you career people may god distinguish you you will become strange men and women of influence Whatever makes resources run away from you, I stand by the power of the prophetic and I declare over your life, anywhere your resources are, across the globe, not just in Nigeria, the wisdom, the favor, and the stamina to attract those resources, I decree and declare, receive the grace for it now.
everybody who came here from outside this state or from outside this nation i stretch my hands to you in the name of jesus may the god of sudden visitations the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice may he visit you tonight 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 not tomorrow help that lady tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ you hear me i pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet i speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the lord turn your life around may the lord change your story may you know him more may your christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ final prayer the kind of anointing that must rest on you and cause everything around you to blossom it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest may that anointing rest upon you now grace for signs and wonders supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus can i tell you this listen i don't stand to brag before you but i assure you by god there is nothing i call that does not come i stand by this grace and i declare everything you have called and has refused to come i push it by prophecy he must obey your call opportunity dimensions resources receive it in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus give him praise father we honor you and we thank you wave your hands to jesus from side to side let him know that you have received thank you jesus the Bible says with prayer, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. You will return into a realm of strange testimonies. Some of you may not know what has come on your life. No, you didn't come to church with what is on you now. I assure you by God, no matter how anointed you are, I am telling you what is on you now. You didn't come to church with it. You are carrying back something upon your life that you did not come to church with. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points very quickly. I want to pray for your finances. Please believe it. Don't say it is unnecessary. It is very necessary, especially at a time as this. There is a prophetic dimension to the supplies of heaven. God is able to help men. As believers, we have an advantage. Many people are financially incapacitated and it is one of the strategies of the devil. He says, do not be ignorant. For as long as there is hunger, Israel will always go to Egypt to look for food. Are we together now? The only reason why Israel goes to Egypt is because there is no bread. Many of you are already at the corridors of compromise because of financial inconsistencies. Let me pray for you. It is true that God can send a raven to come to Brook Cherith and bring bread for Elijah in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here under the influence of my voice going through any rough financial season by the power of the prophetic, come out of it now. 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 And I decree and declare the kind of favor that your destiny requires to scale to heights unimagined. I stand by the God who helps men, even Ebenezer. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. May help gravitate towards you. The ministry of destiny help us be activated over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ.
And finally, let me declare over the remaining 11 months of this year, February included, the path of the just, the Bible says it's as a shining light. That means no month should be greater, no, no, no previous month should be your greatest. The next month in progressive succession, I speak over you, March be greater than February. April be greater than March. May be greater than April. June be greater than May. July be greater than June. August be greater than July. September be greater than August. October be greater than September. November be greater than October. May December be your greatest month this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Believe me when I tell you this. Reach down to your foundation. One time for all. Listen. Let me tell you a little secret. I don't, I usually at the end of the year, I take out time to just rest and make sure that, you know, I just have my little time to rest and prepare. But a group of people came from my village and they said, look, you need to come. There is fire on the mountain and you are blessing the whole world. I said, if people should leave me, this is the end of the year. I want to rest. I said, no, you have to come. And I, I sat down. When I looked at what was happening, I said, in as much as I love everybody, in truth and without bias, I love my own people too. I told them, I said, you know what? I'm coming. And believe me, let me tell you what I'm going to do. By the Spirit of God, I'm going in partnership with the battalion of heaven. There are, there are things, there are things that need to be settled. There are all these, all these wishing. See, the devil is not stupid. There are rules of engagement. Just desiring to be free does not bring freedom. There are rules of engagement. Are we together? I came here with a burden tonight because as I prayed, I asked the Lord, I said, Father, please, let people not come and, and cry and say amen and fall and stand up only to return back into frustration. But you see, listen, let me tell you this. You have to believe God tonight and be serious. Believe Him and open up your heart and be determined that I'm not going back the way I came. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, before Jesus arrived, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. There are men of God here, you make up your mind, I'm not going back with my head empty, no way. I traveled so far to come and receive an unction that will change my life. Business people, make up your mind that I'm not coming here to, to, to go back and live a life of struggle. Living from hand to out, pillar to post, up today, down tomorrow. Even the lawful captive. And so he comes to pick him and goes with him. And there is nothing the devil can do about it. Do you know why? Because the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. And the walls and all they that dwell therein. So you are going to pray one prayer. You are going to give a prophetic red card, if I will use that expression, to everything that is antichrist. Buried whether in foundations, inheritance, I like you to make a declaration in the name of Jesus. I'm cutting away from ordinances and handwritings, speaking against the purposes of Christ in and through my life. Go ahead and pray. Brante parikato shalika da parakato skabia. Embrentes gote shalaka praski badakato. Pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. 
my deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me beseech you whether you are an usher or not. If someone is under the anointing close to you, please help them. Let's be very, very fast so that we trust God to do much tonight. Hallelujah. I really want to take out time and minister this deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. And you will be shocked and surprised to see what happens to you. Let me start tonight with families where nobody rises. This is what I want to start with tonight. In truth, there are families where no matter how diligent you are, no matter how hardworking you are, it looks like there is a demonic embargo. You see people travel abroad and return back after 10 years in shame. They study to PhD. Some of them even become professors, yet they cannot feed their families. Why? Because there are horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah and against Jerusalem. Now I want to pray by the power that resides in the Christ. I decree and declare, please bring them up very quickly. Everyone here under the sound of my voice, in the main auditorium, inside and outside, whose life and family is under the yoke of this wicked spirit that will not allow you rise. At the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And at the shout of that name, that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every vote, every altar, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, every family that will not be allowed to rise, we bring judgment against those forces in the name of jesus bring them up by the power that raised christ from the dead be judged now be judged now be judged now wherefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Bring them out, please. I'm still praying. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, so that no one doth lift up his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. I am still praying. Every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry, covenant of ancestry, your fathers worship idols, your fathers worship all kinds of things, and now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant. You are still going to shout Jesus. Let there be liberty right now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. From your foundations, ordinances, wicked orchestrations of darkness. Let them go now. Let them go now. The Bible declares, He who the Son sets free, is free indeed.
Bring them out. Most of the challenges you see that believers go through, aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding, most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons. If you speak what your tribal people believe, it will not work. If you speak what society says, it will not work. The voice of lamentation does not produce results. It is the word. Are we together? All of a sudden, you sense that a pain is coming here and the devil starts lying to you. It's midlife crisis. Something is already beginning to happen. Oh, you are a man. Maybe prostrate cancer. Oh, you are a woman. Maybe something is happening in the name of Jesus. If the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My brother, my sister, if, if you don't begin to declare, don't wait when it's too late and you don't have the energy. In the name of Jesus, this body is prepared to serve the Lord. A body has now prepared for me. Therefore, I declare that infirmity has no place to stay in my body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural strength is working in me. You lay your hands on your mind. I am not dull. In the name of Jesus, understanding is at work in me. The spirit that gives understanding. Sometimes you can be confused as a leader, quite honestly. You don't know what to do. Do I go left or right? Instead of misleading people in pride, go to God. The Bible says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. Lord, there has to be a way out of this. There has to be a way out of this. I obtain grace. How will I pay the school fees of five children? And as it is right now, there is nothing in the bank. There has to be a way. I tap into the wisdom of the Spirit. I forbid a frustrated Christian life. I'm not ashamed to bless you all wise. If you need a car, I release it in your life. If you need a house, I release it in your life. If you need a job, I release it to your life. In addition to your spiritual growth, I prophesy upon your life. Everything that will make you comfortable to serve the Lord. I stand upon this altar. I declare may that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for those of you here who are in ministry and you're not getting the kind of results you should get in the name of Jesus from this night barrenness in ministry comes to an end you have tried to open a door for a long time and that door has refused to open I break that door now help them please I break that door now Listen, a door is a system for access. It midwives one room and another. It midwives one dimension and another. When that system for access is closed, you can weary yourself at the door and pray in a game. Every door that has refused to allow you go forward, I stand by the God of heaven. Let that door be broken now. Believe it, I'm placing something on your life. May that door be broken now. <laughs> Hear me? And for those of you who God gave opportunities and you misuse the opportunities, is there hope for a tree? I want to tell you that you are in a kingdom where God can restore. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, everything that left your life, either through carelessness or demonic attack or lack of discernment or abuse and misuse by the prophetic i call it forth to your life now i call it back to your life now every troublemaker in your life not allowing you sleep not allowing you rise who goes to your destiny helpers before you arrive there? 
manipulating them to reject you. In the name of Jesus, I cut you away from them. And everybody who asks you, where is the evidence of your being a Christian this week? May my God start answering them. Not next week, this week. May my God start answering them. Oh, may the mighty God arise for you. Arise for your children. Arise for your family. Let me pray for those in government, leaders and politicians in this house. I'm not ashamed to pray for you. I will pray for you in the name of Jesus. May my God distinguish you. I place an anointing upon you. May God distinguish you in a way that will surprise you. Captains of industry, may my God distinguish you. Businessmen, may God distinguish you. Career people, may God distinguish you. You will become strange men and women of influence. Whatever makes resources run away from you, I stand by the power of the prophetic and I declare over your life, anywhere your resources are, across the globe, not just in Nigeria, the wisdom, the favor, and the stamina to attract those resources, I decree and declare, receive the grace for it now. from outside this state or from outside this nation i stretch my hands to you in the name of jesus may the god of sudden visitations the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice may he visit you tonight 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 not tomorrow help that lady tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ you hear me i pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet i speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the lord turn your life around may the lord change your story may you know him more may your christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ final prayer the kind of anointing that must rest on you and cause everything around you to blossom it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest may that anointing rest upon you now grace for signs and wonders supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus can i tell you this listen i don't stand to brag before you but i assure you by god there is nothing i call that does not come i stand by this grace and i declare everything you have called and has refused to come i push it by prophecy it must obey your call opportunity dimensions resources receive it in the name of jesus Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. Father, we honor you and we thank you. Wave your hands to Jesus. From side to side, let him know that you have received. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says with prayer, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. You will return into a realm of strange testimonies. Some of you may not know what has come on your life. No, you didn't come to church with what is on you now. 
I assure you by God, no matter how anointed you are, I am telling you what is on you now. You didn't come to church with it. You are carrying back something upon your life that you did not come to church with. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points very quickly. I want to pray for your finances. Please believe it. Don't say it is unnecessary. It is very necessary, especially at a time as this. There is a prophetic dimension to the supplies of heaven. God is able to help men. As believers, we have an advantage. Many people are financially incapacitated and it is one of the strategies of the devil. He says, do not be ignorant. For as long as there is hunger, Israel will always go to Egypt to look for food. Are we together now? The only reason why Israel goes to Egypt is because there is no bread. Many of you are already at the corridors of compromise because of financial inconsistencies. Let me pray for you. It is true that God can send a raven to come to Brook Cherith and bring bread for Elijah in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here under the influence of my voice going through any rough financial season by the power of the prophetic, come out of it now. 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 And I decree and declare the kind of favor that your destiny requires to scale to heights unimagined. I stand by the God who helps men, even Ebenezer. I speak to you in the name of Jesus. May help gravitate towards you. The ministry of destiny help us be activated over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, let me declare over the remaining 11 months of this year, February included, the path of the just, the Bible says, is as a shining light. That means no month should be greater, no, no, no previous month should be your greatest. The next month, in progressive succession, I speak over you, March be greater than February. April be greater than March. May be greater than April. June be greater than May. July be greater than June. August be greater than July. September be greater than August. October be greater than September. November be greater than October. May December be your greatest month this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.